Welcome back. All three major averages are inching higher today as Wall Street awaits Wednesday's Fed decision. Our next guest is not expecting any rate changes this year and continues to hold major positions in AI, security, and select medicals. Let's bring in Peter Anderson. He's chief investment officer with Anderson Capital Management. Peter, did OpenAI save the stock market? <laughs> well, it certainly has propelled us, hasn't it, through the past uh, year to date. And I still think there's a lot of fuel left in the tank. We just have to be very careful, Kelly, about when this party might end. You know, I'm a great supporter of AI, but I would say I'm a rational supporter. So we're all in this theater, right, watching a great movie. We know at some point somebody's going to yell fire. And the point is, how do we determine when enough is enough, we're at the market top. That's the big question. That's very hard to do. What do you think your answer is? Because I see when you're saying, look, looking at your AI positions now, it's time to define the sell triggers. What are they? It is overdue, actually. And so, you know, normally I pick sell triggers that are financially based, based on the individual stocks, but I'm not doing it this time. I'm using two very simple sell triggers. The first one is what you might call the better mousetrap theory. So in other words, we're all down this road. The um, entire internet has been uploaded and we're waiting to see if this is going to work. What if somebody comes along with a totally different model of how the brain works and uses off the shelf components? That would blow all the traditional AI that we're following now totally out of the water. Do I think that's possible? Yes, I do, but it's going to take some time. <clears throat> and then the second sell trigger, I would say, is when you become aware of, say, this great disillusionment. For instance, what if uh, a very much uh, a strong influencer comes onto the media and says, you know, everybody, I've been thinking about this build out and it isn't all what it's cracked up to be. There is some cracks in the future of AI and maybe it's time to call it quits. That could also happen, and that's very serious if that does. Interesting. Peter, you have a very concentrated portfolio, as I recall, and I remember specifically that you do. You've added a new name in the portfolio, which is something you don't do all that often. What is it and why? So, uh, well, the, the good news is, Tyler, one of the other stocks has been acquired, uh, Shockwave Medical, so that created a vacancy. And I do have a uh, deep bench of candidates. And so the newest name I've added is a medical instrumentation company called Insulet. The ticker is P-O-D-D, and it is a remarkable technology that automatically delivers insulin to diabetic patients. You put it on your arm, it stays there for 72 hours, it's waterproof, and you don't have to do any finger sticks to test your blood level, your chemistry, nor do you have to inject any insulin on your own. It automatically injects it, and it keeps it at a much more constant level, which doctors love. How does it differ from existing? Aren't there existing insulin patches or technologies? Mm -hmm. It actually works with them. The, the patch that you are probably referring to that we see is a patch that monitors your blood chemistry, but it does not mm -hmm. deliver the does insulin. Does not deliver so the insulin. I see. Correct. Yes. Very interesting.